This is a video uh, for the protein assay lab, specifically for question number two, how to create a standard curve for the absorption data. So we have a data table here in question number two, showing us the seven standardized samples of known concentration and what their absorption values were when we put them into the spectrophotometer with a uh, 595 nanometer wavelength light. So to start with, I'm gonna take this data table, which is a static text table, Copy it, control C on mine, it might be open Apple C or whatever it is on your Apple computers. Um, go open a Google Sheet and then paste. So now I've got my data copied into a spreadsheet. I didn't have to type it all. Go up here to insert chart and Google has made a nice bar chart for me. I don't want a bar chart, uh, so I'm going to change that first. So go up here to the chart type. It says column chart. We get all these other options of what I could do. Um, I have discrete data points. I want to do a scatter chart. I could do bubble chart or whatever, but scatter chart I like. Now I need to look at, it's put both sets of data um, as dots. I need to change that. There's no x-axis. You see series is what Google Sheets calls its y-axis. It's put both of them on the y-axis and there is no x-axis. So my first goal is to put some data on the x-axis. So I click on that and it tells me to select a range. I want, according to the lab report, concentration on the x-axis. So I'm going to go back here and select all my concentration data and hit OK. So it's telling me it's going to use the information on this sheet, sheet number one, this is sheet one, in cells B3 to B10, B3 to B10, right? And I say OK, and now it's just added that there on my x-axis. Now I can go from my x-axis concentration, my series data, I can get rid of concentration, remove. So now I have concentration on x and absorption on y, which is exactly oops, what we want to have. I need to bring back my... Um, so now that was in the setup, so I had all this here. Now I need to customize my graph. I need to make some changes, labeling things. First is chart title. The default chart title was concentration. Milligrams, so I could call this a standard curve of concentration, right? And I have this graph made. Um, I could change my axis titles. I could put a horizontal axis, so my horizontal, my up and down axis. This is my percent <laughs> absorption. Yes, this is my percent absorption goes on the y axis. Um, my vertical axis, my x-axis, whoops, that's not right. My horizontal axis wasn't percent absorption. This is my concentration in milligrams per milliliter, right? And I go here to my vertical axis. This is my percent absorption. Absorption, you could do better labels than I'm doing. Um, so I got my axis label. Now I just scroll down a little bit further here, and I get the option for series and what to do with my series data. In mind, series is my y-axis, right? It's what they're calling the series data. And one of the options, I can change like the size of my points. I can make them really big dots. I can make them really small dots. Um, I don't really care about the dots. I can change them from circles to stars or x's or do whatever I want with this. If you want to have fancy patterns, you could change the color of those marks, right? I like, what if I like green dots because they're the green wave? green squares. You can do whatever you want with that. But the option that's really cool is down here. I can put data labels, so it puts the actual values on those dots. I don't want that. It's too busy for me. Put a trend line, also called a best fit line, right? And for the trend line, it can be, do I want it to be linear? It says type linear, meaning a line, or do I want this to be a polynomial? And it makes it a curve. Or do I think that this is a power series? Which one gives me the best fit to my data? We're just going to use the linear. I put a linear line inside of there, and I scroll down a little bit further. It asks me to label. It currently says none, but what if I want to use the equation? So this is a linear trend line. It's a line. The equation is in the form of y equals mx plus b. y, the absorption, equals 15.6 times x plus 28.4. That's my equation. Right, y equals mx plus b. If I have that equation, then here I can use the equation of the best fit line to determine the concentrations of my unknowns, of my milk concentrations. That's the equation I'm going to use. So I'd want to type that equation 
here and use that equation. And then this graph showing my best fit um, is this graph here. Okay, hopefully this video was helpful with you completing your lab report.